Hey going there my friend fellow forex traders will here with fxace.com first of all welcome to the video and uh, today's video my friend is basically I'm going to share with you how I uh, analyze the markets weekly and how I actually automate 95% of the process and what we're going to use in this video is basically charts and my custom built trade journal that was programmed by uh, one of my students Eftin so a big thank you to Eftin very very uh, good uh, trading journal okay so I'm not too sure if you've gone through any of my Udemy courses etc but if you have you'll really understand what I'm where I'm getting at here on the videos okay I just need to customize this a minute. I need to remove the five minute. So remove, 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 remove. Remove the 15. Okay. So what we're going to analyze here is the charts, just these 26 asset pairs here, assets. And we're going to analyze see if there's any trading opportunities. Okay. So the first thing we're looking at is trading zones. Okay. So how I identify the trading zones I'm looking for, like if it's I'm looking at the monthly time frames, I'm looking for weekly uh, zones inside the monthly. So the first question I ask myself is using my price zone analyzer indicator that automatically draws trading zones for me based on my trading method. I simply go to the monthly charts I just ask a simple question is price at a monthly trading zone and to me here on the USD card it is okay so what I'm just going to put in here is a big capital T or sorry not a capital T a Y for yes okay then the next question we ask yourself is price <clears throat> at a weekly is there a weekly zone inside that monthly okay and there's a weekly zone here and a weekly zone here so it is it's added yes okay so yes and just put in a capital Y okay so there's two yeses there there's a weekly inside a monthly so I can then move on to the next uh, part of the process which is basically uh, loading my Macbox system for a signal okay So what I'm going to ask to do here is simply, because we're at the weekly, zones to keep an eye on. Let's take that out now. We have a weekly inside a monthly. Okay, this one here is not updated yet. I'll update that later when the trade actually happens. Okay, so I fill that in weekly inside monthly. We don't need to look at the daily okay and we're looking to short the market okay so next thing I'm going to do here is so I'm just going to measure this and let's say 120 pips okay so I'm just gonna I've automatically got a <clears throat> my Mac bot system which EA which takes signals for me okay so we're looking to short the market we're going to go to inputs and uh, lot size, yes. And the time frames are looking to trade off. The signals is daily and four hour, okay? So we're waiting for a daily and four hour signal. No, stop loss, and it's okay. Close it up with divergence, yes. Okay, so as this is a higher time frame swing trade, I'm able to monitor the, monitor the risk on this a lot easier because it's a lot slow moving, okay? so signal will happen if it's a daily inside a weekly or day trading i always put a stop loss this here i can monitor it, monitor it a little bit uh closely okay so I'm gonna fill in the trade journal okay market hasn't been entering yet and this we just put it in the signal it will be in the daily in the four hour okay and once the trade's entered 
we'll put our profit loss and then any comments we want to place in the trade okay and there you see put the comment loaded macbot to weed entry okay so that's csd cat next we go on to the next uh asset and we're looking at the monthly okay is price at a monthly trading zone no it's just come out of a monthly trading zone so No. Okay. Next, we'll move down to the weekly. Okay. Weekly. Is price at a weekly trading zone? No. You can see it was at a weekly zone there three weeks ago, and it's moving down nicely from that zone. So it's a no. So we've got two no's there, which means no, no signal. Okay. So we don't need to put it in here. Leave that blank. No trade. Put in here. No trade. And okay, nothing. Okay, so this week there's nothing happening on the USD Swiss franc. Next one is the USD Japanese yen. Okay, monthly. Is price at a monthly? It is. You can see it's at a nice, nice monthly area. There's this trade's already in play, and we'll just look at it here. Once we've done the monthly, yes, we'll move down to the weekly. Is price at a weekly? Kind of is, yes. And so we've got two yeses there. Okay, we've got a weekly and a monthly. Okay, set the monthly, set the weekly, and now we can move on to the next part. Which is, just type that in here. Weekly inside monthly. This just keeps us all right and all, all on track. So it does. Daily. And this one's looking to short the market. Okay. hasn't entered it but it'll come at the end of the week or when the trade's entered and we will enter this okay signals will be on the daily in the four hour just make sure this okay Okay, so what we want to do now is simply load the MacBot. Here. Again, we'll just put in the settings. Okay, it's a longer term trade, so be able to monitor this a bit more. Close it up as divergence. Yes, classic. Max orders when you want to look at the under one trade, one signal. 0.5 and false okay so time frame signals are daily in the 4 R. go to common we're only looking to short the market only short go to inputs again just make sure everything's correct five classic classic okay so that's it Hit okay make sure we've got a smiling face there we do and what we do is just a way to signal there okay so we'll just Fill that in. Very simple. The comments waiting for my bot to enter the market. So I'll automate it. All we simply do is do the analyst properly. Like it takes very little time indeed. Let's we'll move on to the next asset. Okay, so the next asset is Euro Aussie, and this is a trade that's just just happened. Okay, I'm just gonna 
Okay, so this is a trade that's actually just happened this week on the Euro Aussie. Okay, as always, we're going to the monthly. And we're not in the monthly area. So we're not, so we'll just put in there no. So next we'll move down to the weekly. Are we at a weekly? We were at a weekly here. You can see this week we are at a weekly. We'll do yes. This is how we trade day trade, or like a trades that happen over a few days. Next we've got a, a yes to weekly. We'll move down to the daily. And were we at a daily zone here? We were here. Okay, so that would have been a yes. And that was a Y. And this trade's already been updated, so it's already happened. It would have been down here. And you can see the signal of it. On a daily trade, we take the one hour. Let's move this. Signals. And the daily signals. So we do. And you can see we had a nice daily signal here. Okay, which got us into this nice move up, and you can actually see this move of the, the signal weekly and already nearly moved to 330 pips of that signal. Okay, so what I'm going to do, what you put in there is since it's already in play. Signal trade already in play. All right, so next we'll move on to the next asset, which is Euro Swiss franc. Start off in the monthly. Is it in the monthly? No. Are we at a weekly? No. So, no trade. Okay, pretty simple. Next. Next asset, Euro card. Okay, are we at a monthly? No. all done for you. you don't really have to mark zones you have to do nothing are we at a weekly no not yet okay so no what I'm going to put in here in the comments is price approaching Weekly area. Keep eye on in the comments. So just so we know what to look at at the end of the week or the start of the next week when we're doing the markets. And we'll also put it in here. Approaching weekly. So. So we have it marked to keep an eye on. Okay, but at the minute, no trade to get ready to load. Next trade, Euro uh, Pound. Are we at a monthly? Yes. Move down, are we at a weekly? No. No. Okay, so no trade. Next one, Euro uh, Yen. Start off in the monthly. Are we at a monthly? See how easy this is? It's all done for us. Are we at a weekly? Yes, we are at a weekly. Yes. Are we at a daily? We are at a daily? Yes. 
So yes, we can move across here. Now since we're at a daily inside a weekly, I want to measure the, the zone here. It's the 80 pips. And it's really a one to one. So for this, let's see the weekly here to the opposite weekly area. Okay, so that makes it worth it if on the weekly it's moving sideways here, so it's okay. So I'm going to put my stop loss under this daily zone. I'll be down at the start of this one here, which is roughly 150 pips, and so it's nearly a three to one risk reward. Okay, so I'm just going to fill in. Daily inside weekly. We're looking to go long. And I'd like to take a signal on all three of these time frames. Okay. And once it enters, just fill it in. Okay. Pretty simple, straightforward. So load will load the map, but MacBot. Uh, we'll do the settings. So step loss since it's a 120. Sorry, 140. I'm just going to put the take profit in here. It's 450. We'll just have all. Point five. One trade. False. And by the way, guys, I said oh, this is it's all this is just this video is just for teaching you how it all works. I have all this set up already on my uh, VPS server, which runs twenty four seven for me, so I never miss it. So this video here is just showing you how everything works. Okay, um, it's three signal time from the signal on. Yes. Okay, so that's good. Next, we can move on to the next asset, which is the Euro Kiwi. Okay, so are we at a monthly? No. Next question. We've just came up from a weekly. We're, we're at a weekly here. Yes, so this is the trade that's already in play. The next question is there daily, and there was a daily down here. You can see with the signal down here, and it was a yes. And we just do this every every week. You just do the same thing. Just fill in this, fill in the journal, fill in the journal every week, and it keeps you right with what trade you're in. We are yes, okay. So this trade's already in play, so we can do yes. It's updated. We can move across. Let's fill this out here. So we can move across. It's daily inside a trade. Yes. It's a long trade. Entering and we.
signal and play. And every week when you come in and check the trades again, you just update this. Very, very uh, simple process. Okay, this one here. And we'll put it, you put in the enter and level the exit, the stop loss to take profit. Each week you fill it out. Okay. And you can see the signal we had here in the daily. We had a weekly area. We then had price pro approaching a daily area inside a weekly. A double yes, good entry, and pretty nice. Uh, you can see the one hour signals, but he got yin right at the start of that move down here. A heap of them there. Okay, the reason this is a demo kind that I'm practicing on here, but this is in my VPS, the real accounts in the VPS, and you can track my real account if you're. In my Udemy course, you will be able to track my real account over at my FX book. Okay, so next asset is Euro USD. Okay, first question. Let's move all these. Okay, are we at a monthly? No. No. Next question, weekly, are we at a weekly? No, so no trade, okay? Move on to the next asset. British pound, first question, are we at a monthly? Not quite yet, it's approaching it. We've got this monthly area here at 125, so it's not too far off, but we'll put that in the comment. The weekly, are we at a weekly? We are at a weekly, okay. Yes, next question. Next question is, are we at a daily? Now, price has just hit a daily and popped up, okay. So, we were in this trade, you have to say, it's updated. These are all trades that happened this week. If you're gone through any of my courses or you're in one of my coaching students, we talk about this in the coaching. So British Pound USD this week, we already had the signal on it. So the trade updated, yes. And we'll just, okay, we'll go across here. We had a daily inside a weekly. This keeps you, get, also keeps you on track to see how well the system actually works and how well you're doing. Okay. Trade and it was a long. And Some reason that's not working. We didn't, so we'll just do a Y yes. Y. And what was the signal on this time frame? So we had a, a daily signal, four hour signal here, and okay. Just fill that in. Okay, next asset. 
British pound card. See how simple this is? Everything's automated. You just have to go through the process, answer two simple questions, and then you can set the trade. Next one is British pound card. Are we at a monthly? No. No. Are we at a weekly? No. So we don't even have to look at that. No. Let's move on to the next asset. British pound Aussie. Monthly. No. Weekly. We've just come up from a weekly. Okay, so we we'll fill that in. Yes. And daily. We had this signal down here. Look at this for us, the trade down here. Okay, we had a daily. And we're just going to look to see here. Trade updated. Let's just check to see if there was a trade. Okay, so we're looking for a daily 4 hour, 1 hour signal. And there was no 4 hour signal. But we had the 1 hour signal down here. Okay, so we would have got in the market down here. With the MacPod loaded, we would have taken the trade. Down here. And that was a signal with a one hour signal. Okay, so we'll just update that. We are in play, yes. And just move across. And then we'll just fill this in. It was, the signal was a daily. Inside weekly. Trade. Or type long signal was on our signal. Now, right, and th these trades that are waiting for play, I will come back later when the, the trades have happened and finished and fill in the, which, which actual signal happened. This way, you can track which signals are the best tend to happen on which types of trades. Okay, so signal. Trade and play. Okay. So if it what trade we've had one, two, three, four. Okay, four trades in play already this, this week. Euro Aussie, British Pound USD, Euro Swiss Euro Kiwi and British Pound Aussie. So this looks look looks so far from the signal. How many pips this is actually getting us. Okay. So you can see this is nearly a four hundred pip move this week on the British Pound Aussie. So it's four hundred pips. On the British pound Aussie, British pound of the signal. Where was the signal? It was on the daily chart here. Signal happened here. Monday. Close this candle and so far 60 pips. It's 460 pips so far. Euro Kiwi. How many? This one. 230 pips, so that's 680 so far this week, and then the Euro Aussie, which was what this week of a daily signal. I think it was a daily signal, wasn't it? Yes, a daily signal. And of that daily signal, you go from the close of the candle so far, 330 pips. So nearly a thousand pips this week of three trades. It shows you how powerful this is. And that's nearly a thousand pips in one week. Okay, trading trading these types of uh, trading zones. So let's move on to the next asset, <coughs> which is British pound, Swiss franc. We're in, inside a monthly. Yes. And after this, after these pound pairs, I'm going to leave it this. 
So we'll put his pound. Are we at a weekly? No. So we can't move on to the next question. Okay. British pound. Yen. The cable. The end. Just move all these lines. Okay. Are we at a a monthly? No. Are we at a weekly? Yes, but this one here, uh, I, I'm liking it down here. It's not really a monthly zone for me. Okay, so no. Next one, British pound Kiwi. I'm saying if the Euro Kiwi popped up this week. So the British pound Kiwi did also. If I got it in here, no. Not sure why it's not in. Like I said, this is British Pine Kiwi. Okay, template. Okay, let's have a look at this. Okay. Sometimes you just have to flick through the time frames. Are we at a monthly? No. Are we at a weekly? No. So no trade. Next, Aussie. Okay. Huge trade in the Aussie this week also. So you're talking nearly 1,500 pips this week on trades. Were we at a, were we at a monthly? No. Were we at a weekly? We were we just hit a weekly here. Yes. So what's our signal? Why? Were we at a daily inside the weekly? And we were up here. This was this area across here. Okay. So this was a signal. We were yes. Trades updated. Yes. Okay, you can see we had a daily signal here. You can see the nice move of that daily signal. There's another only 200 pips. Also a nice one hour signal there also. Okay, so we'll just fill this in. We had a Daily inside weekly trade, yes. It was a short signal was a daily and a one hour and this will be all be filled in later. Okay. Trade in play of one R signal. Simple. Next, then move on to the next asset. Aussie CAD. Okay, Aussie CAD. Were we on a monthly? No. Weekly? No. No trade. Okay. Aussie Swiss franc, it's not one I trade. Aussie yen, were we at a monthly? Aussie yen? No. Weekly? Just came outside a weekly here, so we're yes. Another great trade this week. And daily, were we at a daily inside a 4 hour? This this one here, yeah. 
Okay. So this is technically a daily area here for me. Just looking at all this moving here. This is all this is all a daily area with all these four R signals, four areas up here. So Aussie. The end was a yes. Trade and play. Yes. We'll just fill this in. What was the signal on this one? Yes, we hit play. Across. And was there a signal? There was a one hour signal away up here at the top of this move. We can see another 300 pip move there from these zones. So you can see some of these trades are also a nice daily signal also. So we'll just fill that in. Daily. Inside weekly. Trade. Trade type, short. And that was a daily signal. Why? And a one hour signal. Let me fill these in. Okay. Trade and play. And play one hour signal. Comments. Okay, because that, that's all I'm going to show you now, because this video is going to be too long for YouTube. So, you can see how powerful this uh, system is. You get it right, you answer the simple questions. This Excel file makes it super, super easy for you. All right, if you get two yeses, you move on, you can load the, the MacBot for you, which if you actually access the MacBot single system, You get some uh, coaching calls with me where I actually walk walk you through this whole process and get you uh, trading profitably in maybe one one to three weeks. Okay, so it's a pretty powerful system. You can see already this week nearly adding this here one here. It's nearly three hundred, nearly eighteen hundred pips in a week. Okay, that's eighteen hundred pips in one week of all these moves. And if you Trading manually through the Udemy course, you'll be, you'll be getting that manually. If you've got the MacBot system, which you can access below, it's, that's all done for you automatically. All your zones are drawn for you automatically. All the donkey work is done for you automatically. You just need to simply learn this process here, which is simply asking a couple of simple questions, walk through it. If it's a double yes, you can move on, load the MacBot, and let the MacBot do the trading for you. Okay, so the access the MacBot system, simply either if you're on the YouTube channel here, you can click the link below, or if you're on my website, just uh, scroll down, read the benefits you get with the actual uh, system, and click the link. Any questions, get in contact with me at will at the fxas.com. It's pretty powerful, my friend. Uh, hope I've added value to you in this video, showing you the whole process, how it all works. You can, If you've got the Udemy course, you can go through it manually. If you want to do it automatically and have all the system and all the tools, simply click the link below. And happy trading, and I'll speak to you soon.